Alrighty, it's time for chapter two. I'm excited about a whole new chapter. It's like just new information never ends. This is this is great. I love learning things. Okay, so we have perpendicularity to start with here. Uh, we're gonna use this all the time. You probably should already know the word perpendicular. All right, so perpendicular when two lines intersect. And boom, you get a right angle. They could be lines, line segments, rays, whatever. Um, but they intersect and they form a right angle. So let's go ahead and jot that down. If lines, rays, or segments are perpendicular, then they intersect to form right angles. Boom. <clears throat> and we can reverse this because it is a definition. If two lines, rays, or segments intersect to form right angles, then they are perpendicular. Awesome. Very good. So we just drew that. We'll draw it again right here. We can make them lines this time instead of line segments. Bibbidi bop, just don't stop. I like it. And remember, guys, pause, go back if you need to write some things down. Feel free to do so because I like to keep these videos a little bit shorter uh, so they don't take up so much time. All righty. So, first example we want to find X and Y or solve for X and Y. So that AB is perpendicular to BC, I have BD bisects angle ABC, and then we have two measures of our angles in terms of X and Y. All right, it's a little weird to see these right now, but you're going to get used to it. So if BD bisects, I know I have these two are congruent, and if uh, we have the perpendicularity, this is a right angle right here. So my goal is to set up a couple equations here based on this information. So for the first one, let's see here, ABD is X plus 5Y. And the other one, DBC, is 2X plus 2Y plus 3. Well, what do I know about those? Well, first off, I know that they're equal because the angles are congruent after using bisecting, right? Bisecting it creates two congruent angles. So I can say X plus 5Y equals 2X plus 2Y plus 3. Okay. Then uh, with a different color, I'm going to go with green. Uh, what do I know those, what, what do those add up to? Those are going to add up to 90 degrees. Perpendicularity gets me right angles. Right angles are 90 degrees. Those two angles are going to add up to the 90 degrees. So I'd have X plus 5Y plus 2X plus 2Y plus 3 equals 90. Woo -woo. I like it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to simplify. Okay. So I'm going to combine some like terms, get everything over. What wait, what do I do when I have two equations, two variables? Well, this is a system of equations problem. Elimination, substitution, something like that. Let's do it. All right. So the purple one, I'm going to, I'm going to keep these color coded for now. So the purple one's going to become, well, if I subtract 2x over, I get negative x. If I subtract 2y over, I get positive 3y. And then I'm going to leave the three over on the right-hand side. I'm going to pop back to green here. The green one, it's going to be uh, 3x. And then I'll have 7y. And then I'm going to subtract three and bring it over to get 87. All right. So I have my nicely organized system now. Let's get to work. I'm going to multiply the top equation by... Mm, how about three? Why three? Because that's going to cancel out my X's. So I'd have negative three X. I'm going to go one color now. Plus nine Y equals nine. Got to multiply it to all three parts. The bottom equation is going to stay the same. There we go. My X's are going to cancel. And I'm left with, let's see how that's 16 y equals 96 all right that's good stuff so if i divide by 16 i'm going to get y equals 6 okay so that's one of them right and it's only asking for x and y it's not asking for an angle measure which is you know so i don't have to plug it back in um but or to finish out the problem but how am i going to solve for my x. Well, how about I pick one of my two equations? I'll just pick, how about the purple one over here? And I'm going to go up. I don't have a whole lot of room, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come up here with this. Negative x um, plus 3 times 6 equals 3. So negative x plus 18 equals 3. Negative x equals negative 15. So x equals 15. All right. Now, normally we would write these as an ordered pair of 15, comma, 6. 
There's my answer. All right, solve for x and y. Remember, systems are important here. We're going to see systems all the time. Factoring and systems are the biggest things that come up from algebra. All right, now we got a nice little proof action here. So we have uh, AC is perpendicular to BE, and I know that BD is perpendicular to BF. I'm going to mark those um, right here and right here. Okay. So this is a little tough to write in two perpendicular signs that overlap like that, but we'll deal. And I want to prove that ABE is congruent to DBF. Well, I've got right angles. What do I know about all right angles? They're congruent. So I'm pretty much done with this proof, but I do have to make sure that I write it out properly. So let's do that. So my first statement is my given. Whoop. Second statement, well, we said they were right angles, right? So angle A, B, E, and angle D, B, F are right angles. <clears throat> Beautiful. Definition perpendicular. That's how I knew it. I knew I had perpendicular lines or rays, so I have right angles. Okay, I'm taking how did I know that? I'm writing that down. That's how it works with proofs. So fun. Well, if I got two right angles and I have that theorem that states that all right angles are congruent, I'm ready to, I'm, I'm done. ABE is congruent to angle DBF, and that would be all right angles congruent. Beautiful. That was, that was just excellent and fun and fantastic, if I do say so myself. All right, let's continue. So we got ourselves another example here. Example number three, numero trace. Uh, let's see here. It says AC is perpendicular to BE. So line AC and ray BE, same diagram as before. The ratio of EBF to angle FBC is two to one. Find the measure of EBF. Okay, so when we deal with these ratio problems, my general suggestion is <clears throat> To use x's, okay? So we'll have like a 2x and a 1x when we, we deal with this ratio. So uh, EBF is our 2x. So EBF, that would be this one right here is going to be our 2x. And then FBC, which is this one right here, is going to be our 1x. Well, it says that AC and BE are perpendicular. So what does that tell me? That means I have a right angle. So what should those two angles add up to? 90 degrees. I can set up 2x plus 1x equals 90. So that's 3x equals 90, x equals 30. All right, I'm cruising, but I'm not done. I want the measure of angle EBF. And I apologize for the greater than and, or less than signs that you see. Those are meant to be angles. This is a uh, PowerPoint made a little before fancy math type in computers. Um, but it's, it's that good that we continue to use it. All right. EBF. Well, that's our 2x. So the measure of angle EBF is equal to 2 times 30, which would be 60. Boom. There we go. Awesome. Fantastic. I'm also loving all the different colors that this uh, particular program has here. Um, I don't know what these are, though. Let's see. Ooh. Okay. Okay. I think I might go, actually, I like this one. This one looks kind of neat. All righty. Oh, it's kind of cool. Okay. Red and black. Very Huntley. Let's do the uh, the ticket to leave with that. All right. Ooh, yeah. It's got some X squared action. Woo. This is going to be good. All right. A, B, and B, C are perpendicular. Find X. Well, I know that the two of these are going to have to add up to 90 degrees. If it's perpendicular, it's a right angle. Right angles measure 90 degrees. I like to say each one of those because it helps me in my proofs. Okay, I'm going to combine like terms. And I'm going to subtract 90 because I'm crazy like that. And I wanted to combine some steps, you know, because time's money. That ain't funny, you know what I'm saying? All right, got to save that time. Now I'm going to factor what multiplies to negative 90 and adds to negative 1. My goodness, it must be x minus 10 and x plus 9. Woo woo. So x is going to equal 10 and over here it's going to equal negative 9. Now it's okay to have negative x's but it's not okay that if you plug it in it gives you a negative angle measure. If I plug 10 in I'm going to get 
100 minus 50 is 50. That checks out. If I plug 10 in here, I get 40. That checks out. They both add to 90. Excellent. Now, if I plugged in negative 9, um, actually, I'm not even going to worry about it right here because check this out. I'm going to get negative 36. That doesn't make any sense. Okay. So this one is most definitely out. Uh, another weird thing that would happen would be I'd get 81 uh, plus 45. And that's going to be the larger than the 90 degrees that it even says that it is. So that also doesn't make sense. Right. But easiest to see the 4x, that'd be negative. Right. So got to take it out. That's it on this one. Boom. Awesome. Fantastic. I hope you guys enjoy perpendicularity as much as I do. It's one of my favorite things. Right. You know, a lot of these things are my favorite things. You guys have a great day. America Freedom, rock and roll. Costco, this is a real American flag bag here. It's like eight feet wide. Um, makes a nice little backdrop, you know, a little bit of freedom. All right. Have a good one. Go Bears.